All right, hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics, Mr. Besh. This is the last part uh, for absolute value equations, part five here. And this is an absolute value equation where you got a little bit of everything going on. If you didn't watch parts one, two, three, and four, please do so before you begin with this. First thing that we have to do, anytime you have an, a number being added or subtracted, after the absolute value symbol, you do this first. So in this problem, notice I've taken 6 away from both sides. Then what it does is it breaks down to being 4 times the absolute value of 3x minus 9 on the left and 12 on the right. My second step I have to do is get rid of the 4 in front of the absolute value symbol by doing the opposite. And the opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. So when I take both of these sides and divide it by 4, I get the absolute value of 3x minus 9 is equal to 3. Now from this step here, this is where we're going to set up our two equations. Drop the absolute value symbols, write down 3x minus 9 is equal to 3, but remember our second equation, we write down the exact same thing, except we change the sign on the right-hand side of our, our term, so, so 3 becomes that negative 3. Then, we've got to solve both of these. Solving the first one, adding 9 to both sides, and then dividing by 3, we get x is equal to 4. By taking my other one, I'm adding 9 to both sides and dividing by 3. This time I get x is equal to 2. So now my answer to this absolute value equation is x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 2. I hope you found this both helpful and informative. Thank you.